I know that 99% of you guys loves to watch anime. Me too. I just don't have time. But don't you hate it, guys, when a very good character just died? What up Snow Squad, it's your boy Snow and we are back again here on the All-Star Tower Defense and on this video I'm gonna showcase you guys Erwin, one of the newest 5 star that we have gotten on this game and if you guys remember and actually if you watch my Mihawk Showcase video well I actually promised there that this video will come out as well today so here is my promise and actually guys it was just a perfect timing that I recorded just now because they change a lot about Erwin, guys. They change a lot on this unit. So if you actually just watch some other video showcasing Erwin, that's no longer existing, all right? That's a different Erwin. That's already part of the past. So yeah, we're gonna discuss, and of course, I'm gonna show you what are those changes that happened to Erwin because that is how he is gonna be from now on, at least, well, maybe until those developers decide again to buff or nerf Erwin. But anyway, guys, for those who are asking for other 5-star unit, I actually just got another 5-star unit that's gonna be Megumin or Megumin. Yeah, I'm just gonna research about her. All right, so here is my Erwin. He's now level 26, and as you guys can see, his second per attack will be 60 seconds. That's a minute. His range will be 15, which is uh, not really that bad. And his damage is 25. But actually, this 25 that you can see here is not really an exact number, but actually a percentage. But yeah, I'm going to explain it to you further, guys, once we are already on our infinite mode. So before anything else, guys, if you are new here in our channel, where it's the best time for you to join the Snow Squad, we are aiming to reach 80k subs. So that's our main goal goal at least for now so yep it's gonna be really awesome if you will be part of it and of course for additional luck just freeze that thumbs up button that would really help our channel a lot and with all that being set aside let's now go to our infinite mode all right we just got spawned here on our infinite mode and as usual guys we're just gonna create a bulma farm just for us to have uh, a flexible amount of cash later on but yep be right back. All right, so earlier, guys, I mentioned that this is now the new version of Erwin because before, let me just click Erwin. Where's Erwin? I'm just gonna put Erwin right over here. Okay, so you need 500 cash to summon Erwin as a unit here on the battlefield. And as you guys can see, 25 for damage, range 15, and 60 second per attack. And upon putting him on the battlefield, he will already have the Shinzu also Sagio, which is, of course, a very good song. Sasageo, Sasageo. <laughs> All right, so before, the old Erwin, guys, has his own damage stats, and that damage is just directly being added on those units all right so let me just explain that more okay so let's say for example toga my level 20 toga max can do 29.75 damage per 0.25 seconds all right so for the old Erwin if I will click Shinzo Sasagiyo skill the number that I can see here on the damage stats of Erwin will just be directly added on top of the raw damage of toga and that that's really good all right it was really good because I think that my level 1 Erwin can already add like 170 plus damage on toga but there's a big loophole for that because that means let's say for example you got a four star nomu who can do like one second per attack and also 14 damage that means if you will have only one nomu but with maxed erwin let's say if i will upgrade it later on i will upgrade him so if I will buff that Nomu, which only costed me like 200 cash, he will have a damage of 180 plus in total. So that's really good guys, but the problem is Erwin's buff will only be best paired for those units that has a very low or very fast SPA or seconds per attack, just like Toga and most of those cheaper units. And I think the developers do not really like the fact that that will exist, <laughs> okay? So yeah, that's the reason why they changed that damage and now instead of damage it's now going to be just a percentage so if i will just uh, click shinzo sasagio it will increase the damage of ryuko here let me just max ryuko uh, real quick okay there you go there you go 
he will increase and buff the damage of Ryuko here on his range and also Toga for only 25%. Okay, so upon casting the Shinzo Sasage, you will see the symbol, the cross swords. The, that means the buff is still activated. So as you guys can see, the damage of Toga now is 36.75 and the damage of Ryuko is now 55 from 44. So it's because it is now 25%. What I do not like about this update, however, the fact that he's no longer going to be maybe he can still be a, a very good unit or part of the roster on end game but it's gonna be a little bit more complicated than he was used to so yeah but anyway guys let me just explain to you one more thing all right so they also mentioned guys that it is now stackable by the way the first upgrade that you can do to Erwin will only give you additional percentage so if i will upgrade him to another one so that's another 500 cash a total of a thousand and if i will max him out a total of one or a total of 2000 cash you will only receive additional range and also additional percentage so that's going to be a total of 62.5 all right the fun thing part about this guys is before it was not stackable the buff of erwin is not stackable so let's say for example this erwin got like additional 100 per buff and this another erwin that i got here is another let's say another 100 at max before it doesn't add up to 200 if it is 100 and you casted the second one it's still gonna be 100 that's it but now it will be stackable and look at the range i think that they actually made the range bigger so i think that that's kind of like like a little bit of a buff in uh, maybe in replacement of those lost uh, damage because not gonna lie guys the additional damage before not the percentage additional damage was actually pretty good on story mode and I liked it and that's the reason why my Erwin is now level 26 let's just try to do an experiment and also for you guys to see how does the stack work okay so here we got 62.5 percent additional buff so let's just click Shinzo Sasagiyo. All right, the max toga here now has 47.75. So this Erwin also buffed the other Erwin that we got here, and he now got 101.5%. So let's just click. There you go. And 47.5. And now look at that, guys. 59.75. So it does stack. And that's the reason why this Toga has a higher damage than this Toga here because this Toga literally just got two stacks of Erwin's additional buff. So the reason why the developers decided to do this is because before, only those units that has a very fast SPA would actually benefit on the buff of Erwin, which is actually true. I mean, like what I said, even a Nomu 4 can be really a monster on the battlefield if you got an Erwin. But now, since it's now percentage, it will now also affect some units just like, uh, let's say, for example, uh, Mihawk or some higher DPS units just like uh, Light Yagami because before if you got Light Yagami or any any high hitting units if you will buff him with Erwin it will only adds up like additional hundreds for how many seconds like uh, they are they're only attacking for like even more than one minute so all right so ooh, look at that 1000 each of them that's already almost 200% additional 200% on top of what he has because he only got like uh, what was it um 400 plus right 480 plus if i'm not mistaken for toga um 77 uh for ryuko it's still 115 so yeah th that's the limit guys but yeah like what i said the new Erwin is not really bad. The only bad thing about this change is the fact that why they did not made Erwin like this before they actually released Erwin. I mean, that means that they're just pushing updates without actually having someone to test it out because I don't know. It's just not really making any sense at this point. <laughs> All right. So there you go, guys. That's going to be wave 43. Not bad. <laughs> there you go, guys. So see, I've seen the new version of Erwin is actually not that bad. All right. So you just really need to know 
uh, the range of Erwin because once the unit has already been buffed, it will actually not stack. So the stacking is only happening on Erwin to Erwin. So if you wanted to utilize that knowledge, then you have to position those Erwins far from that main unit so that the only Erwin that can actually buff them will be the final Erwin that you will summon. I mean, the final Erwin that you will cast your skill on. But anyway, guys, that's going to be it for our showcase video. If you enjoy watching this video, of course, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys again on the next one. Stay cold. Peace out.